I probably should have been recording a little bit more. Um, I did record one episode, but I didn't like it, and I deleted it. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll go through what I built in that episode, and I, it wasn't that it wasn't good, it was just that I sounded kind of bored and boring, and I was tired, and there was lots of server drama, so, blah, whatever. But this is what I did in it. You've probably seen it in other people's videos. Uh, I know it's been in Just Fawns and uh, Drew's and Matt's, I think, the beginning of theirs. Um, so this is what I've been working on. It is a giant wheat farm. If you remember in the server 2.0 video where I tour the castle, I said I'm really looking forward to people starving a lot at the beginning of the server, server, and uh, yeah, lots of people starved, even like two or three days into it. So I built this huge wheat farm and carrot and potato farm, just everything, so that people wouldn't die. Um, it's right by spawn, this is, oh, by the way, I'm gonna look at this too, this is our spawn building, this is really nice, I like this a lot. It's not completely done yet, uh, but it's Olmok's design. He actually built it off-center, so it's lined up perfectly with uh, the castle, and he built it one block off, so a bunch of us got on one night and shifted the entire building over block by block. Uh, but yeah, this is spawn. We'll spawn in, or new members will spawn in up here. And then walk over here, down the stairs, and into this area. And then we're going to have nether portals in the middle and chests on the side. Uh, and then this is probably the direction you'll go. And you'll see my wheat farm. And this. I wanted to build the wheat farm because, well, number one, people were dying a lot of starvation. And number two... That's a damn cool view, <laughs> and uh, there's lots of derpy people on the server, so uh, they were going to probably build a house here. So I took the initiative and built something small, uh, low to the ground that anybody could use. So I'll just take you to a tour of it. It follows basically the natural landscape. I had to edit a lot because the water only flows so far. Um, I'll explain those in a second. But yeah, you got your carrots, your potatoes, your wheat. And then it says Caleb's. Actually, uh, Casey King helped me a lot on this and built this bridge. Uh, but he helped. I built like up to here and started building up to here and he finished all this and built a lot of this. Um, so yeah, Claylib's massive organic wheat, carrot, and potato farm. No pesticides used at all. Take what you need, please replant. Community storage that is going to come soon. Keep it tidy, fix your damage. So my idea uh, for the server is that I'm going to create create a corporation, and somebody broke that. That's not very nice. I'm creating like a corporation. As of now, it's called Claylib's Noms, I think. Claylib West's Noms. And we're sort of going to start to feed the server. At the beginning, we're using really low-tech hydration blocks boxes, patent pending hydration blocks, copyright Caleb, Caleb West. Uh, so these, there is a, I think, yeah, there's a water source in the top, and the water source goes all the way down here, hydrates everything left to right, and ends up in this little pond type thing. And I'm following. Uh, so yeah. They're really cool. I like them a lot. I sort of like this concept too. Cool concept. Uh, soon we'll be doing, I'll be making like redstone wheat farms uh, around here or even at my base. Maybe we'll create an off-site storage facility that will be my main base. Uh, 
what I'm planning on working on now. Well, I'm working on two things right now. Well, three things. Well, I'm a busy guy. Um, this is thing number one. It is a cow farm. It is very primitive. <laughs> I'm sort of working on it here and there. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like these sort of entrances. I gotta do that. I like this better a little bit. But whatever. Um, in the middle of this, right here, between, uh, I put these two cobble walls up saying future storage, food storage space. So there's going to be a space here where you can cook your food and store your food that you're not going to need and walk into each farm. Should be good. Uh, so that's about it. I guess I should show you guys my cows. They're, or my horses. They're, uh, in the deleted footage. But this is Bo. I don't know, I don't think I've ever told you guys, but uh, I used to ride horses. I think I rode horses for three years. My sister still does it competitively, uh, and she's pretty good. Uh, but one of the horses I rode name was Bo. He actually bit my nipple and twisted once, and it became all purple and gross, and that was horrible. But uh, me and Bo were good friends other than that. So I got this mule, named him Bo. He is now my, oh, my... Uh, Pet mule has a lot of stuff, including some clay. Um, in here, I believe this is yep. This is Taz, another horse. Never bit me in the nipple, but a uh, good horse nonetheless. I like this guy, <laughs> Rugby Callum, suffocated in the wall. Um, yep, I like this horse a lot, Taz. So I named him that. Whoa, language. Uh, so yeah, that is it, and um, another one of my projects, sort of general, all-encompassing projects, is, uh, I never showed you guys, or I don't think I showed the spawn on the last server, and there's a good reason for that. It was ugly as hell, and it looks like a nuclear bomb just <laughs> destroyed it. Uh, it was pretty ugly. So... I'm trying to make, I'm, I want to stick around spawn for a while, make it look pretty, like, we have the castle here, this wheat farm I'm pretty proud of, I, I think it came out really well, looks good. We have some cool, we have a really nice spawn building, some cool houses going up. Um, the cow farm, this is Valratho's horse stable, which we'll see how that looks. We have this building, so... I really would like this to be a nice place. Uh, and of course, this server is a lot busier now. There's like 10, 11 people on right now, which is awesome. And let me delete those. They are pretty ugly. Um, and another thing I'm working on is this guy. You might be able to recognize sort of the pattern from one of my builds on the last server. It is a zombie spawner. <laughs> we already have one near spawn, but I want to build one, like, practically on top of spawn. It's really close. It's right near the, uh... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. It's right by spawn. It's right by, uh, the surface, so you don't have to climb a huge ladder or a huge staircase. Uh, this is my setup right now. I have 11 diamonds. Yeah, chaining table. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a spawner. I actually had this floor up a couple levels, but uh, Valratho is building his horse stable. And he sort of didn't know about this spawner. I had it covered by grass for a while. So then I uncovered it and went, oh, Val's stable is right over it. That's great. So uh, we're trying to figure out a way to so that both of our builds can exist and... Nobody gets their feelings hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it at spawn. I like it a lot. Oh, I wanted to plant these. I wanted some spruce wood. So 
So yeah, that's about it for spawn. I'm trying to record often, but I'm trying to do a high standard, so if I don't like it, I'm deleting it. Hi, Zol. Uh, well, that's a hole. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I just want to make some good content. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. I'm not sure what I'm going to bring you guys in to watch now. Uh, it's a lot of grindy stuff. That's probably why I deleted the footage, because it was just me, like, chopping down trees and hoeing the ground and planting seeds. Not that exciting, honestly. Um, Although I think I would. There, There's been a little talk. We have a few new LPers on the server so I would like to do like an ABBA caving type thing with them. I think that that would be a lot of fun. Get to know the new guys, although my video went up today with Matt AK Slash who has a YouTube. Uh, check him out. He's really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get to do some ABBA caving with guys or just co-ops as they come as they do on a server. And yeah, that's about it for now. I think I'm going to bring you guys back in when I have something more interesting to say. I've been working on the zombie farm a bit more. Looking good. Got this. I really like ceiling grids, I've decided. <laughs> uh, so I like this um, light wood, dark wood. It also works really well. Because uh, Vol's going to come along in a bit. He's not on the server right now. And put his floor right about there. Um, hopefully that won't cause any lighting issues. Looks like it does a little bit. But uh, whatever. That'll be fine once there's a whole floor here. So our builds will be separated from... By no blocks, basically. <laughs> I always find that weird in Minecraft. How... Uh, you know, the world's so big and so infinite, and yet you run out of space so easily. Okay, now let's talk about which, how the walls are going to work. Um, I decided each wall is going to have a function, something to do. This wall is going to be pretty, pretty wall. Um, I'm going to extend this out a bit, put some windows in there. It'll look really nice. This wall, going to chop this out this out have some chests right there for storage I don't think it will be for zombie flesh storage just uh just you know storage <laughs> food or whatever random drops that you don't want whatever and on this side there's going to be redstone so I'll have like a on off switch right here this will turn on like either loot grinder or XP grinder and then uh, another one right here. This will turn on the lights or turn off the lights down there. And then this, I'm going to chop these out and make a whole room behind here that was for uh, or that the grinder is actually going to be in. I Again, it's because Vol's there because um, I don't want to interrupt him at all interrupt his build. I think it's only going to come out to here. Hopefully. It might come out to here. In which case it won't be any problem. Um, so I think I think I want to build some stuff on camera. I, I don't do that enough. I want to do that more. So I'll, I'm going to grab some materials and turn on the camera again. Happy Canada Day, Blaze Farm. Happy Canada Day, Spawn Building. Happy Canada Day, Casey King. Happy Canada Day, Just Van. <laughs> Happy Canada Day, Wingnut. Happy Canada Day, Zombie Stein. Happy Canada Day, Angra. Happy Canada Day, Vintage Beef. Happy Canadian Day, Fallen Angel and Simrold. 
Happy Canada Day, Volratho. Happy Canada Day, Matt and Drew. Oh, this is taking so long. <laughs> I'm really tired. It's 2 a.m. today. Yeah, I woke up pretty early. Ah, oh, so I'm tired. And why the heck are those guys on fire? Why? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Um, pretty sure I didn't leave that there. So I'm just really tired or something. Uh, but it's mostly done. It doesn't really work well at night. It just summons the horde and every zombie ever comes over here. I guess that's the problem with having an above ground grinder. <sighs> um, so yeah, this is it. I guess I'll open up the behind the scenes. It's not totally done, but it, it it's mostly done. It, it's good enough for... I'm going to bed soon. <laughs> I'm going to edit, render this, maybe watch this to his new episode, and go to bed. But yeah, it looks pretty snazzy down there, I think. Uh, oh man, is he stuck in the current? <sighs> okay. <laughs> So I continued the pattern over here, have this so that they can't get out, I can't get in. You can watch them going up here, enchanting table here, nice view, um, storage, nice view, nice view. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this I've been working on this thing for a long time now, I think last time I recorded was around 5 in the afternoon maybe six and now it's two in the morning and I've been working pretty much straight on this oh I didn't show you guys the uh, towers oh, I'll show you in a sec um, oh I thought that was it ah so stupid <laughs> okay let's go back down that tree is grew super big and I'm too sleepy to cut it down um so yeah Let's just do this, and and boom! There's what it looks like from the outside. I think I think it looks pretty good. I like how it's built into the hill. I like how I had to sort of build it into the hill that I was forced to, because the uh, vault's right above me there. I like having constraints like that. Uh, so that's the dark room. This is the uh, enchanting room. They go up there, and then over, and then. Like that, <laughs> exactly as illustrated. Um, let me edit this a tiny bit. Uh, uh, I'll do for now. Yeah, I got some lights in the enchanting room just to make it a brighter experience for all those who come and use this thing. Not sure if Vol's gonna extend. Is this is like the end of Vol's Volratho's building? But uh, yeah. And then I still have to do the entrance, which is going to be a pain. Diagonal spaces are always a pain. And my head is itchy. Very itchy. Um, I don't think they summon the horde in, like, daytime, which is nice. Very nice. But yeah, that's about it. I still have lots of troubleshooting on it, I think. Um... I'm glad to have a really nice looking zombie farm at spawn. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day because I'm certainly going to go to bed. But uh, until next time, I will see you guys.